Now then, um, bunny. Oh yes. wait, it's sept- it's September. I'm sorry, pumpkin spice bunny. <laughs> I would like, if I may. Yes, it is her. She just said yes. Hell yeah! I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. I want to start this episode of the podcast as I have oh so many times before. Yeah. By once again talking about the clash. Oh yes. The clash. Uh, yes, yes, and and our all clash show that we did a while back, if you remember. Very popular. Very popular. Mm-hmm. Bunny, the clash. We need to talk about the clash specifically. We need to talk about the the trustworthiness yeah. of the clash, Bunny. Because you see, I don't know the clash. I don't know uh You don't pal around with them. Yeah, yeah. i I haven't hang out with them too much. I also don't know uh their front man, Joe Strummer. I mean I I, I actually have one or two of his solo songs on my phone but i don't know him personally i don't know his life story yeah but he's a british musician so i'm assuming there's some substance abuse issues in there somewhere yeah. <laughs> um, I, I haven't looked it up because i haven't bothered to put any effort into joe strummer but i'm assuming i'm correct but here's the thing we yeah. need to talk about the trustworthiness of the clash am i to just assume because they Tell me it's true. Am I to just assume that the Sharif likes it? Um, that the Sharif doesn't like it. I'm just supposed to assume that the Sharif doesn't think it's kosher. Why should I take your word for it? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're doing absolutely no sourcing in the song whatsoever. Yeah, you know, yeah. and just Such and your just source is bitch, and just make making fallacious allegations. That band name, Salacious Allegations. Yeah. <laughs> band name. That's your free band name for this week, kids. Salacious Allegations. That's a great band name. It's going to yeah. be difficult to put on a shirt, but <laughs> you know, the fans of the band will have to be fatter people. Yeah. To fit the entire name of the band. Be- also, also to make it harder, it's one word. It's all one word. Salacious allegations. I, I oh. never, I never liked the clash, and I don't know why they're considered one of the greatest punk bands. I, I don't, I don't see that connection. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And the clash. See, my memory of the clash, um, is that nobody. Nobody ever talked about The Clash. I had never heard of The Clash. I've never heard anybody mention The Clash or anything like that. And then all of a sudden, everybody loved The Clash, and they always had. Yes. Yes. I've never heard anybody talk about The Clash until suddenly everyone agreed that London Calling was the greatest album of all time. Yeah. And always has been. And yeah. really if I don't if I don't like your top 40 shit I don't like you. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is the song that America is agreeing is one of the most popular songs. I don't like you. <laughs> and like I I I have uh, a hard time reconciling the clash because to me, I mean, London Calling is okay. Rock yeah. the Rock the Casbah is fucking horrible. Yes, it is. It is a fucking horrible song, and I'm I have a hard time reconciling that to like the Ramones or. The Sex Pistols, even though they suck too, or like Black Flag or anything like that. I have a Sex Rock Pistols cover Pistol? band. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what we're called? What? Uh, the Dry Hump Rifles. <laughs> we're a 
<laughs> Sex Pistols cover band. Yeah. Yeah. We only cover Anarchy in the UK, but we cover it in different styles. So, like, the first time it'll be a reggae version, the second time it'll be lounge. Yeah. I believe we're the only cover band to only cover one song, so that's good. That's good on us. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, if we find the Sharif and ask him if he does indeed like it, something will tell me that the Sharif will say, well, of course I like it. I always have. Wait, what has the Clash been saying about me? <laughs> it's like, well, um, I heard Joe Strummer say that he thinks that you, that he, he says that you don't like it and that you think it's not kosher. And then the Sharif would be like, whoa, who brought Jews into this? <laughs> God, I've always liked it. I don't know what the hell he's saying. Yeah. 